The common sense of driving. As people living in a civilized society, we have various responsibilities, some more serious than others. For example, a great surgeon is responsible for his patients' lives. Someone else who is a gardener also has responsibilities towards his job but is not as serious as a surgeon. That is why we demand that our doctors have great education and experience. We, as drivers, have a great deal of responsibility. 2. Anyone who operates a motor vehicle has the potential to inflict serious harm on others. You, at any time, can kill, injure, or cause loss of property to others. Your car is like a gun. You must know how to operate and handle your car. It is of the utmost importance that you be aware of your responsibility as a driver. When driving, you are responsible for your life and the lives of others in your car. You are in control. If you make a mistake, no one will be able to correct your mistake. The automobile is as dangerous as a loaded gun. And you're in charge. Only you. As a driver, you should take your driving privilege very seriously. How well can you see and stop? If something is in your path, you need to see it in time to be able to stop. Assuming you have good tires, good brakes, and dry pavement at 55 miles per hour. It takes about 400 feet to react to something you see and to bring the car to a complete stop. At 35 miles per hour, it takes about 210 feet to react and to bring the car to a complete stop. If you can't see 400 feet ahead, it means you can't drive safely at 55 miles per hour. If you can't see 210 feet ahead, it means you cannot safely drive traveling at 35 miles per hour. You will not have enough time to stop if something gets in your path. Adjust your driving to the weather. You should slow down in rain or fog. Turn on your lights during the day if it is hard to see. It is always illegal to drive with only your parking lights on. Fog. The best advice for driving in the fog is don't. You should consider postponing your trip until the fog clears. If you must drive, then slow down and turn on your low beam headlights because the light from the high beam will reflect and cause glare. You can increase visibility in dense fog by using your low beam headlights. Never drive with just your parking or fog lights. Increase your following distance and be prepared to stop within the space you can see in front of your vehicle. Avoid crossing or passing lanes of traffic unless necessary. Listen for traffic you cannot see. Use your wipers and defroster them as necessary for the best vision. Pull completely off the road if the fog becomes so thick that you can barely see. Do not continue driving until you can see well. Turn off your lights, or someone may see your taillights and drive into you. Darkness, be very careful when you drive at night. Go slower because you cannot see far. You will have less time to stop if a hazard lies ahead. Make sure you can stop within the distance lighted by your headlights. Headlights must be in use from 30 minutes after sunset until 30 minutes before sunrise. Headlights must also be in use when you cannot see at least 1,000 feet in front of you. Headlights are required when weather is adverse, such as fog, rain, sleet, or snow. Use your low beam lights when it is raining. Remember that it is always illegal to drive with only your parking lights on. Do not blind other drivers with your high beam headlights. Dim your lights by switching to low beams before you are 500 feet from a vehicle coming toward you. If you are following another vehicle, change to low beams when you get closer than 300 feet. Use your high beams whenever possible as long as it is not illegal. I. E. In open country when other cars are not near or on dark city streets when no other traffic would be affected by your high beams. When leaving a highly lit place, drive slowly until your eyes adjust to the darkness. To avoid being blinded by an approaching vehicle at night, 
It is best to slow down and avoid looking directly into the lights of the approaching vehicle. Do not try to get back at the driver by keeping your bright lights on. If you do, both of you may be blinded. Drive as far to the right if a vehicle with one light comes toward you. It could be a bicycle or motorcycle, but it could also be a one-eyed vehicle. Heavy snow or rain, in heavy snow or rain, you may not be able to see more than 100 feet ahead. When you can't see any farther than that, you cannot safely drive faster than 30 miles per hour. You may have to stop from time to time to wipe mud or snow off your windshield. Headlights and taillights. Slow down at the first sign of rain, drizzle, or snow. This is when many road pavements are most slippery because oil and dust have not been washed away. Driving through puddles can lead to reduced braking ability. It is wise to turn on your low beam headlights when visibility is poor even in daylight. Use your low beams in fog, snow, or heavy rain. Hills and curves, you never know what is on the other side of a steep hill or a sharp curve. If a car is stalled on the road just over the hill or around a curve, you must be going slow enough to stop. When you come to a hill or a curve, slow down so you can stop if a vehicle is there.